who trains this Glenmore side, bringing in another substitute, just giving the piece of paper there to the referee. And a marvellous day for Glenmore. They've only got two county championship titles, the last in 1987 and, of course, in 1990. And they're about to be crowned All-Ireland Club champions. Patrick's well, not over. Not giving up by any means. Willie O'Connor. Switching it over to this side. It's Seamus Dollard. John Heffernan. Breaks inside to Dollard. Christy Heffernan has gone inside, but Dollard goes it alone. And he sends it to the right and front. And Christy Heffernan indicating to Seamus he didn't quite like his decision to go it alone. But it matters for little at this stage. As Glenmore virtually have only seconds left to be crowned All-Ireland champions. There's a man in Glenmore called Michael Lynch, he's a teacher, he's a native of Valencia Island, and he has inspired this Glenmore side at underage level, and the Kingdom colours could well prevail. In fact, probably have prevailed at this stage in Croke Park. Joe Murphy probably the last puck out of the match as we go into injury time Nigel Carey fouled and a free in for the Limerick champions but not even a goal at this stage will surely get them out of this one ball intended for Leonard Enright trying to get inside Eddie O'Connor the cross comes in and Willie O'Connor is underneath it Parade blows his whistle, and that's it. The All Ireland crown goes to Kilkenny and the parish of Glenmore, a parish of just over a thousand residents, eight miles from Waterford, five miles from New Ross, sandwiched by two counties. And there it is the moment they've been waiting for the final scoreline Glenmore 113, Patrick's Well 12 points. The goal by Christy Heffernan. The essential difference between these two teams and certainly people like the chairman Hotty Long and George Lahey and his fellow selectors John O'Shea and Ted Dollard who's a father actually of Seamus will well remember their first and only visit to Croke Park. Victory then for the Kilkenny men and I think Anna Ryan a well-deserved victory too. Uh, yeah, Glenmore uh, took their chances when they came and uh, basically by down to that whoever took the chances uh, it won the game um, Patrick's well had a good few chances in the first half we were talking about it earlier missed freeze uh, missed shots of goals same again in the second half and that was uh, probably Christie's goal clinched it then for Glenmore Patrick's well gave it everything Eamon but it wasn't to be their day and I don't think they can have too many complaints well they'll be naturally very disappointed and I think the whole of Limerick will be naturally disappointed that they were beaten today but Going back to what Anna said, Glenmore did the simple things well. When Patrick Swell went on the attack, Glenmore closed them down, which forced Patrick Swell to pass the ball and pass and pass, and they weren't getting their shot in, so therefore they weren't able to score. But I think in the first half, as Anna says, Patrick Swell had too many wides in the first half when they should have scored. And then when Christie got that vital goal, it was a kick goal, he only did two things during the match. Paul Foley played very well on him. Um, that was the turning point of the game because the well just weren't able to score at the other end. Well, we talked about Christy Heffernan at half-time, and we were making the point up to them that he hadn't been very much involved, wasn't getting the supply of ball he might have liked. But as Eamon said, all he needs is one touch. That's right. Uh, high ball came in, Christy caught it, and he didn't even use the hurley. Booted into the net. Uh, two more, I think he got a point in the first half, and he made a free in the second half, and that was all Christy did, basically. <laughs> well, just, uh, gentlemen, just standing out of picture at the moment is uh, Georgie Lahey, who is the trainer. Georgie, congratulations, Glenmore trainer. You know, Anna and Eamon. Georgie, come in and talk to you. You've had many great days uh, in your training career, indeed, and in hurling, and this has been one of the best, I'd say. Oh, one of them. Great, great. First one, draw with the Swedes. Uh, they played great. Like, we know we're up again against parties. Well, they played well, but we played a little bit better today. Sure. Yeah. Well, look, at half time, you were leading by two points, but up to then, you hadn't really gotten going. But in the second half, you started to put all that right. Yeah, but we had a few words at half time. Yeah. So that, that, that kind of helped it. And, uh, 
they did uh, turn around the second half and they put everything in it. They were trained to the last to win this match and yeah. the whole parish is behind. The same as Patrick Well, but we were just lucky, we got the breaks. I'm, I'm just delighted we won it, Michael. Yeah, I'd say they're all very happy, John, uh, around Van Moore this evening. We were talking just before you came over about Christy Heffernan. Up went the hand and in went the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, I don't need to be uh, much work on in, in Denmore this week, can you, Michael? <laughs> George, you're a busy man these days, training, training at least three teams. How do you find time for it all? Ah, sure. I have a good wife, she doesn't mind. So that, <laughs> that's why I'm around the house, she says, we go because you're too contrary. So <laughs> that's it. Well, George, congratulations to you once again. I know you're going to enjoy the celebrations later on. Yeah, right. Thanks, Michael. All right. Eamon, if we can bring yourself and Aina back into the picture here again. Aina, just talking to Georgie there and what it means to the club, he's saying that there won't be much work done down there for the rest of the week. It's a big, big thing for a club and for a parish. It is, yeah. Um, personally, going back to 1986, we won the county final. It was the first county final that Glamour Daly ever won. And uh, as I said, that was back in 86. I think we're still celebrating it down there. You know? <laughs> I know it, sure, I know it. All right, gentlemen, Aina Ryan, Eamon Creek, and thank you very much for joining us here this afternoon. And that's where we have to leave it then, if you can still actually see us. We will be recording the club football final between Lavi of Derry and uh, between Salt Hill of Galway for you, showing that to you next Saturday in Sports Stadium. We're not finished with football, though, here on uh, RTE Television today, because later on tonight, you can see Cork, the All-Ireland champions, against the Bank of Ireland All-Star live from Toronto. That's at 8.30 on Network 2. I do hope you'll join us for that, but from all of us here in Croke Park, bye-bye.